Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can add a Chrome extension which can help you to get all your core which you are doing on GFG directly sync into your GitHub account. Likewise, I have made a video upon how you can sync your lead code questions directly to your GitHub repo. In the same way, in this video, I am going to talk about how you can sync your GFG code directly to a GitHub repo. So let's get started. You have to simply go on Google and type GFG to GitHub. Click on the first link and here just add to Chrome. Add extension. It just take a few minutes to download. Now once it got added, it just pop up like this. So let's see whether it's working or not. So before that, let's firstly set up this so you have to go here gfg to github and then you have to authenticate again click here okay so you got one step right now let's go on the github and then create a new repo so i'm going to click on new and then let's suppose test gfg this is my repo add a readme file and i'm going to create this so once you have created this you have to copy this path here okay so we just have to type the name so i can type test repo test gfg so this is my repo name and you have to select this because i am linking an existing repo right which i had created just now Click on get started. Okay, so here you can see that whatever the repo you are making, it's not going to take a space. So you have to add this. So I'm going to add it here and then get started. So it has almost set up all the things. Now let's see whether it's working or not. So this is the repo. It doesn't contain anything as of now. Once you have added the extension to Chrome, now it's time to check whether it's working or not. So I'm going to submit the solution. So it got accepted here. Now let's go here and refresh this. This is the problem. And now its solution has already got up. So let's see what's inside it. So you got a readme.md which shows what's the problem statement and what's the difficulty level along with a link to that particular question. Also, you have got the example test cases here and the code. So, whatever the language you have selected, you got a code written in that language here. So, yeah, this is a very cool trick and do try it out. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.